So, I know it's been a while since uh, you've seen any upload on this YouTube channel, but I, I don't know. This is, this is actually very spontaneous. I decided to just do this because, like, I, I don't know. I've, I've reached a point, <laughs> you know, with how I've progressed and everything so far this year that like I feel like you know what let's 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 get back to doing something a bit like this because like I've missed making videos and like making films and stuff and just yeah I don't know maybe this is just me kind of going through a bit of a nostalgia for like those times back then when I was like still very like when I was still a cat and I used to do like one of these but I don't know, I think if you know my circumstances, you can't blame me, so. But it's been, it's been years, right, since we've last, I think so, it's been, it, it probably has been years, so, so I will, I don't know, I haven't checked yet, but I will go back, I will check, I promise. I don't know what this will be, but I, I plan on like doing more of these, just like being in this park and just talking and stuff. I should, I should probably tell you, you know, where I've been and, and also, obviously, the obvious <laughs> how, how I've, uh, you know, discovered that I am, you know, a woman and, and yeah, how, how I have become who I am today and I never actually, like, discussed this before in terms of, like, really going in depth. It's just, like, I think for most people, they saw that, oh, I... One day I, I started to use they them and like I'm starting to dress more androgynous and then finally like I'm who I am now. So I haven't really like addressed it in terms of like oh this is all the things that happened that like make me the way that I am now but I guess I guess that's like a really good I think that's a good place to start really. That's a good place to like just go through it. While we wait for the time to reach six forty nine p.m. and once we have that I'll have my HRT and I don't know if everything goes well maybe we'll have a good smoke or something along those lines <laughs> well, how did I discover you know who I was and, and how did I come to this point well in truth like for the longest time that I've remembered like everything right I've always like I don't, I don't like how I look. I, I always like had a problem with like how I looked and just, I don't know. I, I hate looking in the mirror. I hate seeing what's there, so I don't look at it. And at the same time, I feel very envious of like the women in my life and everything because I was like, my God, why are they so beautiful? Why are like, they're, they're so amazing. And why can't I like, you know, be like that, or like reach that, like like look like that, right? But like, I didn't re register that like it was like, you know, me like in, in, internally. I just thought like, oh, maybe it's just aesthetic or something, right? And all men are just supposed to be, are just supposed to look ugly and disgusting. So that went on for you know a while, and I think that like it definitely helped that I found like a passion earlier on to like just focus on that and not focus too much on like anything else especially like that whole feeling of like being very uncomfortable with like my body but eventually I think it was around like when I was like 14 or 15 it got really bad it got especially bad because I had just returned from, from New Zealand um, I, I dropped out of like the school there because of my host parents, you know, they they weren't nice. They weren't nice and they were especially not nice uh, about the fact that like when I was there, I tried using different names and one of those was actually Sadie. And they were like, and I remember liking Sadie a lot. I, I liked, you know, Sadie and it, it was from like the song Sexy Sadie, you know, the Beatles. And I, I, I really liked that name. And then I told them, hey, you know, I'm going by, you know, Sadie. Didn't say like I was like transgender or whatever, but just like I like that name. And they were like, "Oh my god, it's such a girl's name. Why are you using a girl's name?" I'm like, "Oh, okay. I guess I guess that's a bad thing, right?" So I didn't. I, I stopped with that, and eventually I came back, and things kind of went back to normal as, as best as they could. Like 
there was always a tension back then, especially with, like, with my mother, because I, I would always like hate myself. Like the, the longer time went on, the more the, like I hated everything about me, my body, just my vibe, just everything. Like it, it got really, really bad around that time, right? Because like I, it, not only like was there like just less things to like focus on around that time, so it was just something where like. I didn't go to school or stuff like that and like I I just tried to work on my films and everything and yeah I, I just it was a very uncomfortable time and the only way I know how to like feel better is just to say like okay I hate it myself I hate it everything here and I hated that and, and it was to the point where I was also like abusing on the internet uh, to meet people and to like just get validation you know they're like oh at least like all oh, these people they, they like my body they like everything about me right but like in truth like you know I don't but so that got me into like some very bad bad pe people bad places and and it was a while before like I, I've made my films and everything and 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 even though I got to express a lot of that, especially looking back, dreams of the past, that was definitely like my dysphoria kind of creeping in through in like a very like dysphoric way. Uh, it it just it didn't help matters. You know, it didn't it didn't get better. I get to express things, but it didn't get better. And I also felt like at that time it was so weird because I felt like I wasn't able to like be my authentic self. Like I, I felt like the art that I was making was somehow very like invalidated because it, it felt very like the, that person who made it, that name that comes up on the, on the credits, it didn't feel like my name or like who I was. And it, it was worse in, in the fact that like the years after that, I write screenplays, I write everything and every single time it was, it was something that caught me off guard because I write so much about like women and like I was just like why am I like you know so stuck on like women's perspective like what what what, what about that why, why why is that like the, the 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 kind of narrative and perspective that I like to like go back to all the time right I think I must have wrote like 30 or like 40 screenplays where like they're unfinished but like you know I give up on them just because like I felt dissatisfied with not just them but like everything in my life and like I felt the need to like just escape so I go on to the next one and the next one and the next one and it's it was a bad it was a bad pattern definitely very bad so I I just didn't understand what the fuck it was like I just didn't know until I think it was a few years you know after that that like you know I watch YouTube whatever normally and then I saw a youtuber um, Finster right Finster who's like you know I think they're like back then they were like cross-dressing right but I think now they're like gender fluid anyway so they're like a streamer and they like made this funny video where like they go on Omega and <laughs> they dress up as like a girl to like you know scare off like the, the fucking perverts and shit I remember that video like being so hilarious to me and it was also kind of I don't know it was, it was cute in the sense of like I, I have also like met some people at Omeko and after like I, I watched that video I was like actually that was, that's kind of fun I kind of want to do that so <laughs> I, I had like this incident or I did it or like I I went I got, sorry so yeah I had that incident where I went in to Omeko and like I had a wig and everything and I, and I wore like my mom's like clothes which actually another detail was like uh, when before even like when I was younger I was always so jealous of my mom because she has like amazing clothes to wear right but like oh my god all male clothes so boring like I, I found them to be so boring yet I have to wear them all the time and I found that so like insufferable and like awful I, wear, I, I wore my mother's clothing. I sound like Norman Bates. Jesus Christ, this sounds awful. <laughs> I wore it. I had like a wig. I had this wig, curly wig. Actually, it's, it's like a men's wig, but I, I style it to be more like feminine. And I go on there and I met a few guys and I scared the. I, I kind of scared the hell out of them a little bit. And that was funny because, like, I don't know, it felt, felt kind of good, it felt kind of good, like those split seconds where they, they thought that I was like a girl, it, it, it felt good and I was like okay that's strange but whatever 
you know, it's just what it is. Maybe it's just the tingling, like, funny stuff. So, a few months went by, and my short film, Dreams of the Past, it, it got entered into a film festival. And I went there, and, and it, was, it, was, it was one of the better experiences that I had when I was still suffering through dysphoria and everything. I wasn't myself. But the, 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 the moment that, like, changed my life was when I... There was a, this woman, this like el el elder like kind of woman. She's like in her 60s or something. I think she she must have had like bad eyesight maybe. Like not 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 any like insult or anything like that. But just like you know, because like she or I don't know because like in the short film I have like quite quite long hair. But anyway, she like she told me like oh my god that and, and that actress like is like really good. I'm like oh you mean like the the grandmother right? Like yeah she's she's really good. She was like no 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 not the grandmother. I'm talking about the, the actress the, the the woman who plays the daughter. And then that's when I realized she meant me. She thought I was a girl. And and that entire night from then on, that feeling stuck. Like, stuck like a sore thumb. I was like, why did I feel, like, so amazing? Like, why was it, like, so so amazing that, like, she, she said that? Like, what? You know, like... It, it, was, it was, like, just a, a, a revelation. It was just amazing. I... I I still remember it like very fondly, you know, because that entire night I couldn't focus on anything else except like how good, how warm, how like comforting and reassuring it felt that she said that. So I, I tried to ignore that feeling afterwards. Of course, you know, I was still kind of denying it and everything, but I felt I felt pretty good. But secretly, I was like, doing research into trans people. Like I've known trans people before, right? Um, but in Thailand, you know, you have like the media's depiction of trans people is all like, oh, you know, they're like joking and they're like silly and like super sexual and like supposed to be mocked or whatever. And like it, it wasn't a good you know, an image that I had, you know, it was, it was very much so just informed by that. But I started doing research about trans people and gotten very involved with like how trans people are treated overseas and everything. And, and the more that I did research and the more that I listened to them, the more that I felt like, oh my God, I really relate to that whole experience and like just that feeling, like like, like I'm stuck in, in a body that just isn't like mine, right? Like that it's just, there's something wrong. First, I started with like androgynous. I was like, okay, maybe I, I want to explore my gender first. All right, I want to like try dressing more androgynous. So the first thing I bought, I bought like a blouse. I bought two blouses, and and then eventually I got myself like a skirt. <laughs> I got myself a skirt, of course, the the essential trans package. I got myself a skirt, and then a few dresses. My sisters, you know, gave me a few dresses, and and I couldn't wear them because like my chest was still like so flat and everything but now it's like you know these are amazing so I I explored that and it felt really good it felt it felt good but I know that like it could feel a lot better so I push it I push it more and more and like with the photos that I took and everything I I also go back and I realize that like the photos of my previous stuff that I did like I will like pop them up here those are the ones that like I look quite feminine right I look quite feminine and like before I never understood why but like now I kind of do and actually 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 like no before I I was even now I'm like sexually like I'm a submissive so I thought back then that maybe oh I was like kind of into those photos because I look sub I look like gentle or whatever but now looking back it's like yeah I, I look very feminine <laughs> I look I look quite feminine you know so I realized that like I could you know go a bit more than that and even though I was like, still afraid I was like you know what I'm gonna go for it more until eventually I realized that like I like I, I like to be to be like you know perceived that like 24 7 at that time I was also like doing GED and I remember like feeling strangely less stress and less like I don't know, I was able to focus more on like my tests and like my studies by like wearing a bra and I, and I went to the the test center. I, I did wear like boy clothes, but underneath I had like a bra and it felt very like, it felt, it felt empowering. It felt like, okay, I could just focus. I could just have a little bit of a of, of part of myself that feels like my genuine self. And it helped me through. And surprisingly, that was like the highest score that I got during that entire test. So it was like, yeah, it was like, 
it just felt it, it just felt like really good, right? And so eventually, I realized that like okay, I, I wanted to like start hormones. I did research and everything, and I was like very sure about it. I went in, I talked to you know the clinic and everything, and they gave me pills, and I started taking them. And the rest is kind of history. There's still so much you know that I could like talk about with. Um, with all of that, with my experiences there and everything, but I, I think the main takeaway is just like I've been very happy like these past like years, and and I think it's just a good thing to remind myself because like, looking back, it, it was very sad in the sense of just like if, especially with con with the context of today with how my life has, has been going so far. I feel a bit fortunate that like, you know, I did realize that because like that, that time was bad. Like around right now, it is still pretty bad, but it's not as bad as like when I still didn't know who the fuck I was. That was, that was awful. Yeah, I've experienced so much, <laughs> a lot of pain actually. Like through, like this year has like kind of sucked, you know, but that's kind of the dif the difference. It's just like I feel like people who like to like invalidate like trans experiences and everything. They're like, oh, you know, like you you transition everything, but like things are still the same. Why are you still having like depression? Why are you still going through all of that? And it's like, well, I would I would argue, right? That the the difference is just like I would I prefer to like. If I have to die, I prefer to die in this body as it is right now than to be in that body, right? I prefer to be in pain in this body than like back then. Because it just, I don't know, it felt more true. And that's like kind of been the thing that I valued the most currently in life, which is just like the truth and just things being true and truthful. And yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing better than be, being able to be, you know, your true self, you know? and. And, it's, and experience suffering in the most truthful way. <laughs> okay, I kind of want to like change angles just a little bit just to see an experiment, you know, because I'm gonna probably be filming here a lot. <laughs> um, so just to see which angle works best. You could tell me in the comments. It's kind of weird to say that because it's been a while, but okay. But so yeah, that's been where my life has been going so far and I, I just really want to thank all of you, you know, those who have just only stick with the channel or those who have been on my little box and have followed me from Instagram to here. Wherever you're from, wherever you may know me, just thank you so much for sticking with me, you know, from through all of my best years and like through all of my worst years, just those times especially. It was very nice to be able to have you and just know that like I was seen and I was heard even if it wasn't who I was, you know, it was just, it was great to be able to like, to be able to do that and, and, and to be able to just, I'm just very thankful, I'm just very, very thankful and, and yeah, I feel like now that I'm more comfortable in my body and, and as who I am, there's no better time to come back and do more of these and to talk with you and talk about chat, you know. So, just thank you. Thank you so much for everything. And I think we are to celebrate. I think it's it's chill, it's got nice vibes. Let's, let's celebrate. So, here's my pill, my HRT pill. Cheers. It always makes me very happy to be able to do that. <laughs> you know, it, it feels like self-love to be able to keep taking these and like because before, you know, I, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. <sighs> it just feels like self-love. It just feels like I am doing what's best for me and for who I am, and not denying that, accepting it, and. It makes things worth it, you know, it makes all the pain, it makes all the love, it makes everything worth it and and, and I feel it. 
everybody. And here is two many more years to come of our YouTube channel and just life. Good. It's really good. Yeah. That's what we've got. 